We're trying to get Johnny over. Have you met Johnny? Yeah, I did uh, two weeks ago or something like that. Come over, Johnny. We, we don't have enough. We're, it's very chill tonight, very relaxed. So you want to, if you want, grab a seat over there. And if you want headphones, they're there if you want them. The thing is, like, maybe I can move back a bit. Do you, can you do like? A, are you mocking the Australian accent? Yeah, mate. What? Well, this thing is listen annoying, to this mate. guy. Listen to this guy. The one who invented accents. <laughs> but uh, isn't it? Isn't uh, the Australian there, accent mate. a drunken version of, of English? Oh. I don't know if it's streaming or not. We'll address this in a second. <laughs> now I just posted the uh, link onto my personal page, so okay. it should pop up in a second. Johnny, what's going on, man? Hey, mate. You all right? Yeah, right. You're right. Why do English people, like, the first thing when they ask if you're okay? Yeah, dude. <laughs> what I've is with that? I've got a story about that. <laughs> 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 Literally, bro. I worked in a, in a British school where most of the people were British, and they were all, in the beginning, when I first got there, they were always like, you all right, you all right? And at first I was like, fuck, is there something on my face? Or like, you know what I mean? Like, why are they, like, do I look ill or something? You know what I mean? Like, they're always like, right. you're and right, so, you're they right. They sound like, so concerned when they ask you, yeah. you're right. I don't know. Dude. But it's such What's a nice, it's such man. a nice, when you understand it for what it is, it's like, oh, I really dig this, no, you know? We, we mean dude, like, I eventually start saying it as well, yeah, so. How's it going? You right? Yeah. Okay? How's it going's ours. Uh, I taught yeah, my, yeah, I taught my kids that one. How's it going? How's it going? Australian, the Australian how version. How's it going? How you, how you going? And then there's, um, yeah, it is a drunken version of English in that sense. Like you've got mm. the, how you, go, how you going? How and you for going? us, we just went, how's it going? Like, oh, how's it going? <laughs> we just say, how's it? Yeah, how's you it? and the Kiwis as well. Yeah. They love the, the Marys love it. South Africa. <laughs> Johnny, where, where exactly are you from in the UK? Um, from... Um, from the East Midlands, so close, close, close to the uh, to the edge of that little island. Yeah. Um, it's a little town called Boston, but not. Oh, yeah. You're from Boston. Boston. You're from Boston. Not that the Boston. UK? Boston, not Boston. Boston, um, Boston, Boston Rangers. So um, yeah, from from um, a, full, a small small little town, uh, close close to Nottingham actually. Oh. Nottingham, Nottingham. No sorry, sorry. I said, no, 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 no. My favourite English accents are the ones in Hot Fuzz. Have you seen Hot Fuzz? Yeah, they're so good. It's a good movie. I fucking love Hot Fuzz. And when they when they when they talk to the the farmers, he's like, oh, hi, hi, hi. Can you? Hi, hi. I think that's kind of a little bit more Irish, though, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like my girlfriend when I go visit. People shouting over the wall. It's amazing how different the accents are in the UK in that, in so that crazy, tiny right? landscape. And in it Australia, is, I is. really can't hear the differences. But, but the thing is, um, you know, I used to be a tyre fitter. And, um, a what? A tyre fitter. Tire fitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I used to have to go out to, you know, the sticks and stuff like that. Not too far away from my town. Yeah. Um, but you have to, you know, being a tyre fitter, you know, you've got people you know cultivating their land and all that kind of stuff right but they would uh they would speak completely different you know you just go down the road and they'd be like yeah they're all they're all coming look at my set here and you're like what so you set guys don't even understand each other no half the time not no he's like oh my set here you're like what are you saying my, my set here oh your set of acre of potatoes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you'd be cool. like, oh, okay. yes, of course, I would like to come and look at your set a curved potatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd be going, oh, my set a potatoes. But I think I don't know. I think it's the same with like in Hungary. They've just been drinking too much palinka. <laughs> what what, what is the that. English version of palinka? Is there one? Gin no, beer? Gin? No. It would be gin. Is it, it gin? It must be yeah, gin. Yeah. It must be. But I don't think they. Um, I don't think they. They brew it. Like they do in Hungary, I don't think they. No, no, no. It's not like oh, names are we, like we, got this, we got this weird shit yeah. brewing in the back garden. You yeah, because it's true. It's <laughs> even happened to me already. Like, yeah. ever try this? What is this? Oh, a friend of mine made it. Fuck, fucking hell. Yeah, but yeah, it's pretty yeah. Cool. But here now, it's 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 a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit more popular, isn't it? 
I guess so. What is Gin? Palinka. Palinka. Palinka, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, we don't have too much stuff in the, in the UK, to be honest with you. But there's um, like, um, I know in South Africa there's a huge, well, there was like the last couple of years with gin, where gin? like there's craft gin and it's just everywhere. There's like every craft gin under the sun. Mm. So I just, I, I thought it was like a universal thing, you know? Well, like, no, no, I don't think it is. It's yeah. like, um, most Sorry classic. guys, I'm just trying to sort out some stuff. You guys uh, just keep chatting. Yeah, no, I think it's like most, most, most parts in Europe here. I don't think England and, well, like Ireland. Whiskey, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, Becker is here. Hello, beautiful. Hey. Monica, you have to join us. Come on. No. When are you, when are you, you were the person I was supposed to interview first when I got okay, to Budapest. Do you remember today. that? Today, I'm just like, uh, Come on. But Come I and have a beer you. with us. Puppy. No, you're already on. You, we just heard you. Nice shirt, by the way. Marvel. No, I'm like, sorry, I'm on my allergy pills. So I'm really like, how long? What? Oh, your yeah, allergy pills? Yeah. So dog. That's weird. Hey that allergy. That, <laughs> that dog. That dog is a survivor. How's your doggy? With my one? Yeah. He's alright, yeah, you know. He's alright. He's alright, isn't he? <laughs> is he alright? He's alright, mate. Is he alright? He's like, he's jogging around, like fucking little, <laughs> little fucking jogger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's uh, do a bit of this, a bit of that. You know, got him working on the dogs, so no. Fucking hell, he's gone to the dogs, this dog. <laughs> So it's gone to the dogs. I had to explain that in English class the other day. Gone to the dogs. Gone to the dogs. Because we're doing Harry dogs. Potter, right? How did you figure that one? I said the docks, but... You oh, know. you said... Oh. See, can't they fucking... Don't un- don't going to the can't docks. understand these guys. <laughs> no, because we're, we're doing um, Harry Potter in the classroom. Yeah. So they've got to remake a Harry Potter scene, right? You mean and, the and Harry, it just sounds like Harry Potter in the classroom of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds <laughs> creepy, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, whatever happens in the classroom stays in the classroom. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry. You're talking to two teachers here. You're dragging us in the mud. Our former director is probably going to watch this. Consultant. Yeah. He's salute. been looking at these videos. Salute. 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 Yeah, yeah salute. <laughs> so how was, the, how was... What was the last tattoo you did that you were like, fuck, that's, 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 a, that's a keeper? As in, like, for you, in your memory. For, for, for me to tattoo it, you mean, or... Um, fucking hell. Because um, do they all become a bit like samey in terms of no, what you're no, happy with? No, definitely not. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I think you know when we're when we're tattooing, um, you know, there's a lot of script and there's a lot of like other stuff that we do, and it just come it becomes repetitive. But yeah. What's the what's the repetitive tattoo to you? Is it script? Is it, it, is it is it for me, symbols? yeah. Yeah, I mean, something more, like, figurative. So I like to do, like, bold lines, bold colours. But, honestly, no tattoo uh, becomes, um, you know, like, uh, repetitive for me because every person is different. And you, I always ask them, from one t- I think it's one from one tattooer to the other, I think it might become more repetitive. But for me, it's all about the person that I meet, you know. So it doesn't matter how many times I've tattooed someone. It's always it's, the personality It's always the their personality. Like, I tattooed this, like, really simple strawberry the other day. Like, this outline of a strawberry. But this girl was, like, just, just super vibing, man. Like, she's just, like, just so excited. And it just got my day going as well. I'm like... This is what I do it for. It's reminding me what I do this for. You leave your mark on on bodies that will Absolutely be decomposing yeah, yeah, in so twenty or thirty years. You know what I mean? Isn't that isn't that kind of yeah, crazy? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, yeah, Every yeah. time someone meets you at your place of work, yeah. they're committing to something they'll die with. Yeah, and you're giving them that. Hundred yeah, percent. You know, this is why thing. this is why I get so nervous in a lot of the situations that you know, you know, someone to make this right for them because of yeah, fuck yeah. it up. Then, uh, Especially if they, I can imagine some of them would obviously tell you a bit of a back, background story of why they're doing it. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess in a way, yeah. sometimes you might listen to that story. It's a, it's, a, 
It's cool yeah. to hear it from the other side, right? From yeah. from the tattoo artist's but point do of they, view. Do they usually um, tell these stories while you're having that? While you're yeah, giving that's a good point. Most of the time, yeah. I'll, I've got one example. Uh, that's a very good point. To 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 to, to uh, you know to yeah to show an example of like the you know what we do. So um, you know here in Hungary. You know, we have a couple of communities, and mm. you know, I, I, I say this because you know every community is important. You know, yeah. um, but it's a, it's a large gypsy community here, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, I had one girl come in to me, and um, you know, she, she's a a gypsy girl. She's yeah. a gypsy girl, and I feel a little bit bad about this because. Are you allowed you know, to say that now? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. I'm not. I'm unsure if I'm that's okay not to sure, say. Yeah. But like, Look. you know, back in England, you know, you've got a gypsy community, but it's it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, are you allowed to say? But are you allowed to say a gypsy I'm not community? Too sure. I think so. Even there? Yeah. I'm, I'm not, not too sure. sure. Yeah. But anyway, here, you anyway, know, you have yeah. a gypsy community. Here, it's yeah. it's a culture, right? Yeah. And they they yeah. say themselves they're gypsies. You know, whenever I meet a gypsy, they always tell me, "Hey, I'm a gypsy." No. Yeah. Okay. So um, she, you know, eight years ago, she's got this tattoo, and it's her first tattoo, as I could see, and it's shiny, and it's on her wrist, and she just got into a new relationship, and her boyfriend was very, um, very upset about this tattoo. She oh. wanted her to get it covered up. So she's coming in, um, she's coming in like with this, with this tattoo. With this old, old, old tattoo, and she's like, you know, I need you to cover it up right now. Yeah. I need this oh. done today. And I'm like, right, so hang on, hang on. So it was an old tattoo that the boyfriend didn't like. So it was an old previous lover or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and sure. then, and then uh, he was like, get rid of it. Get rid of it. And you were tasked. It's understandable. With the job of, I guess, yeah, she yeah. came in. She's like, you know. But did, was she like, get rid of it with this or get rid of it with something? Anything. Oh, right. Just get rid of it with it. anything. Oh, wow. She just she wanted it. She left the creative it. choice up to but you. That's the thing, though, wow. guys. It's a big, that's a big that That's a huge one. You, it doesn't, they can say to you, cover it up with it, whatever. Yeah. But if you've got, like, a big-ass fucking name yeah, that yeah. says Shawnee on it and you've got, like... I don't know, half a centimetre line, like thickness of lo- like of of of, of a, a line of a script. It's pretty fucking difficult. Yeah, man. You guys are a lot of black there. There's a lot. Of, I can imagine the, the questions you would have. Like, what do you like? What are you into? Like, what, what and she's you, like, I don't care. Just she doesn't give a fuck. Like, Jesus. That's fucking. So she's that's basically ridiculous, like, what is, man. Yeah, that is like that's yeah. that's a commitment to itself to the yeah. relationship. So, so, yeah, did she care. know you? Uh, like had she no, no, she's before, just come into the shop. She's just come into my shop, shop and wow. uh, asked for this. So, um, anyway, so she's like. Wow, that's meanwhile, big. okay, so I don't speak much Hungarian. I speak a little bit, but um, she's. Uh, it's a lot easier for her to translate to my my receptionist, and she's like oh, translating that's everything. Challenge. Meantime, we pick out a design, and she's okay with it. And she's like, yeah, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what you mean that'll do. She said, pick something out of my book. And this is like a tattoo, a design that I really want to do on, like, on someone, like, this clean, like, not clean, sorry. That, that's the wrong word. Like, yeah, this get, is, like a mean, clean yeah. design, like, a, like, you're going to put it on the leg or the yeah. arm. You don't want to cover a, up a, it. Yeah, cover yeah, something yeah, up with yeah. It. yeah. But yeah. she sees it. And I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, this will probably cover it pretty fucking well. So it's kind so of I'm working, like, yeah, okay. yeah. So I commit to it and like, oh. fuck it, you know, we'll, we'll, let's, let's do let's it. Do it yeah. So, uh, and I already say to them like, listen, this might cover it, but if it doesn't, it's not my fault. This yeah, is cool. Yeah. All right, so you lay, the, you lay a mattress down for yourself? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but this tattoo, as I get into it, like me doing a tattoo is it's pretty nerve wracking the best yeah, times. I can imagine. Fuck so it's not a relaxing thing for you. You don't get into it. It is. It is. How it long is. have you been doing it, if I may ask? Um, around six years now. Okay. Yeah. It's not very long, actually. But it is a while. See, if you look back at the last, what were you doing six years ago? How much? Yeah. Same if, thing I'm doing now. Exactly. But if you were doing one thing, 
Six years is a long time. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're averaging, yeah. what, three you or whatever I you get a day. Six years must feel like a long time for you. It is, it is, yeah. definitely. I doing this so, as well. Man. Six years of, this, of one thing. But, um, it's yeah, so she's... Um, oh, where was that when I left off on that? Oh, what? so you were, you were just saying that you, you were cut... You, you said to her that whatever happens happens and as you were yeah. st- as you started doing it mm. you started realising something yeah. yeah so I'm like it can't get any worse than this can it really <laughs> to be honest for her she's just like cover it up and right <laughs> so I'm like blasting through the outline like usually I take my time with the outline I'm just like fuck let's yeah, get yeah, this yeah. fucking shit done yeah. like don't get me wrong guys like you know it was just the it was a, it was just like a situation that you know she just wanted gone yeah. and then yeah. she's like I don't care so I just let everything go I'm like which is weird blah, 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 blah. if you hear someone saying I want to get a tattoo done and I really don't care about it yeah mate but then if you if you're the one saying that fuck you know what do you expect exactly you're, you're not expecting yeah. anything oh thank you what, what do you reckon is the most important so I, tattoo you've done like in terms well, of can, you, can, I, can I finish this story first yeah yeah yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. so um you know, from a girl that didn't speak much English at all, and I started, I blasted for the outline. Yeah. And then we, you know, started doing the shading. And then she starts opening up, because she looks at it, she's like, the name's gone, almost. Oh. And then she's like, so where are you from? Where, where are your family from? Like, and this is like, I'm not going to, don't get me wrong, like, a lot of people from, from uh, Hung- Hungary that are gypsy, Pretty reluctant of like having chats, yeah, you yeah. know, with, yeah. uh, with, with with anyone about like maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong here, like about, about <laughs> chatting with, yeah. you know, I, I just yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah, I, yeah. that's what I felt like, just like didn't want the small talk, yeah. But you could but tell she she's like, it's like she had a she had like she had a bump of coke or something, and she's like, oh, I'm gonna talk to anyone, yeah. and she was so, so overwhelmed wow. with with. Uh, with with gratitude and everything, she was like, "This it's is cathartic. going well. It's cathartic. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, spiritual, yeah. even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you and see then something she's like, being erased like that, yeah, 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 yeah. She wouldn't be seeing that every day, and then now oh, finally dude, having it. That's crazy. a huge impact. That's yeah. amazing. So anyway, we covered it up, and you know, we're, we're having deep chats by that time. Wow. You know. Wow. And uh, she was just so super, super grateful. She was like, yeah, "This is awesome. amazing." That's she's awesome. like, "Thank you so much. Like, this is the." And I'm super happy with the tattoo, and like I'm gonna post this shit up, and like, yeah, really, yeah, that's cool. like, the, you know, she, she'd. Uh, Have you got a post of the tattoo? Can you? No, no, not yet, not yet, no, no. I'm gonna post it though. Thank but you. She was, yeah, she was super grateful. And, Can uh, I get one? That's super yeah. cool, man. Yeah, yeah, what a cool a good story. story. Yeah. <laughs> so, in, in yeah, answer to the sick. question, like, do most people? tell you as you're getting giving them the tattoo what the meaning is or do they try and give you the the story before and then you kind of feel the sometimes they give them the meaning before but during sometimes that's the thing as well they'll open up it's a little bit more spiritual yeah, for them. yeah, yeah. yeah. and i'm super into that as well yeah that's cool I'm super that's into cool. that you know it kind of reminds me of my um my dad right he's a hairdresser yeah and he's not a talkative man by nature yeah, okay. But when he's cutting people's when he's hair? cutting people's hair, he he just finds a way to just casually talk. Yeah. And he's kind of he's turned into that person in yeah. his personal life as well. So he just talks a, a lot of crap. Yeah. But he but he it's because he's had to every day in segments of 15 20 minutes talk yeah, to yeah. people while doing something. And that's the other thing I was going to say. When you're tattooing and you can communicate and talk and have a conversation and do you must have that zone there's there's, there's got to be a, like I imagine if I was doing what you're doing I couldn't talk to someone yeah I think the same I'd be like no I can't like I've depends, got it. Thanks, depends what it is honestly um, sometimes yeah sometimes no depends like how intricate and how concentrated uh, I have to be yeah. you know if I'm like doing a really really fine fine line yeah, most of the time, I'm like, oh, I won't talk. If you ask me a question before I start that line, you'll stop, is it? Or until the end of it. Okay. And then you'll answer. No, it's still in there for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm relating that. I, 
You've you've got a few tattoos, Josh. Do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I do. I got a couple on my legs. So oh, that's right. You have them uh, on your legs, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you got? On the back. Um, so it's just, I've got a sit like it's words on this leg. It says Akshem, which is like a South African saying that people say all the time. Akshem, yeah. We say it for everything. We just say shame all the time. I don't know why. Shame. Shame for everything, and it can be a good <laughs> thing, bad thing. Can be like really, yeah, yeah for everything. Shame. So I just thought, um, yeah, so I got that on my leg, and it makes me laugh. Well, not laugh, but I look at it all the time, and I'm like... Well, how's it styled? Is it just... So, yeah, so I got it... uh, Both the tattoos were done by a family friend of mine that I've obviously known since I was, like, really young. And, um, yeah, so he he got them done. The other ones, I've got another one on the back of my leg. Wait, did you have them them done with mates? So they've got tattoos the same? No, 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 not at all. The, the guy that did it for me right. is just a family friend, yeah. Right. But um, it started with, the, I've got a tattoo on the back of my, like just on the side of my leg, yeah. Um, my, I cu- my cousin, who's a really good friend of mine, she's the same age as me, so we, we grew up together, but she has a son that's got Down syndrome. So everyone in the family got this like Down syndrome tattoo. It's oh. like, like what these, is it? It looks like um, arrows, basically, like three arrows, one underneath each other. So the whole family got that. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll get that. But I've always had this idea of just covering the entire like tops of my legs. Does that make sense? The tops yeah, of my legs. Actually, yeah. But yeah, so just they like, look like shorts. Yeah, like, like this. Like if you had length? to wear shorts, that's kind of cool. It would be like that length, all tattooed. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why. Do you see I've just that, any of that? that? Like, yeah, that kind of like coverage. But yeah, that's the idea. A lot of the people, a lot of people, um, there's only like. Tattooed like ex ex girlfriend of mine, um, for she she um, she only tattoos she only tattooed her legs. Um, just her legs, the whole just her legs. Of her legs. Yeah, like yeah. wow, pretty that's much fascinating. Just both the legs, nothing. Wow, above, it's not like she'd be dipped in something, you know? Like no. I don't know, dude. It's yeah. a, it's I just because I'm just in the body yeah. naked when when you've got this short yeah, 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 your yeah, body. Yeah. And it's just so there, like, yeah. If it's just, it's like saying someone had their arms just in. Yeah, it looks yeah. like they've had their arms dipped in something. I yeah. don't know. It sounds like it's it really kind of sounds like a you're trying to hide it or something. You know what I mean? But it's not for me. It's not really that. I, I'm not with faced your legs. About, yeah, if yeah. I, like if I had to say to you, I want to tattoo the tops of my legs, kind of thing. You'd pro- you initially you'd probably think, okay, he's he wants tattoos, but he's hiding it from somebody or something or whatever. I like to think of it as but like you're, me, ho- you're, you're keeping a surprise. For me, I, like, so you the know ones I mean? who do see you butt yeah. naked, it's like a surprise, you know. Like for I me, that's how I see it. For me, it's like I, I, I would like to get them not to show anybody anything. And if you do, don't get me wrong, whatever. Just I'm saying what. You yeah. Know. But I just like to. It's for me. I want to look at them. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not. Sure. It's not to be like. I mean, I'm if I'm wearing jeans now. You know, can I see your tattoos? Fuck, what must I do? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is for you. me. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. For me, and like, uh, I'm not interested in like anything. You don't, you don't want to show. You, 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 I wouldn't you, mind showing it. Yeah. Let's put it that way. But, but it's, it's not but your. Not, it's not your intention. It's not my intention to show it. I just like, and because because also what I want to tattoo on my legs as well. I like at least like you know good good friends and family. If they give me something fuck great, I'll put it on me. Definitely, nice. yeah, I nice. would. I even said to my mom the one day because she she's she's against it. I'm sure we all know people like my, my mom's one of those where she's like I don't think it looks good and whatever. And um, I said to her, look, you got an option to tattoo something on my leg. What would you say? And she was like, this is bullshit. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm. I was gonna tattoo. say. That's exactly what I'm gonna tattoo. This is bullshit. Yeah, Are but I'm trying it? to get her to like write to do the it. writing. Yeah, but I can't get her to do the writing. So I would have to. I like, saw a meme. It was but a I just, you see, something like that. It's not like if I had a tattoo on on my arm or something and said this is bullshit. What would you th- like? It would be like what the fuck. But if I have it on my leg and I'm looking at it, I'm like, it, it so makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it makes yeah. sense to me. But dude, that's a that's but a that's imagine a pub I had story. It on my back or something. This that's is a bullshit. Pub, that's a like, pub story. This dude's fucking off his tits. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Dylan, he's off his barnard. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, you know like, what I mean? you, you, it'd be a pub story you could carry around with you everywhere you go. And if yeah, someone said, "Oh, you show you tattoo," and they're like, "What the fuck's that all about?" You tell them they're exactly. Fucking, yeah. They'd buy a drink for it. Dude, we went to a music festival. And this this guy that well, I was with a group of friends, and I met this dude, and he had a tattoo on his butt that said your name, literally said your I name. I bet you I got your name tattooed dude, on my back. Dude, and he walked around and, he, and it was like the joke of the thing, and fu- it was fucking funny. You know what I mean? Like that's just something. It's brilliant. Right. If you it, like, you know, the place and 
the meaning is pretty much everything if, with these type of things. If you ask me, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. You would, you can mm. debate that if you want. I'm not yet to debate it, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's for me. That's it. It's the meaning, and like if you put if you put a tattoo in the wrong place, it looks it can't look as good if it was in the right place. If you know what I mean. It doesn't matter what it is, really. Yeah, sure. So I guess yeah, for me that's that that that's it for me. I guess I like it though. It was interesting. I was expecting it to be like really painful. I don't know why, but maybe it was good that I did expect it to be. What painful. did you feel? How would you describe it? Felt like? Um, it's not painful. I didn't feel painful. I know maybe the area it depends on the area. Obviously, yeah. if you get tattooed under your armpit or something, I'm pretty. Sh I'm sure that's going to hurt like quite a bit. But on the legs, yeah, it, it just felt like someone took a relatively sharp pencil and was kind of just like tapping me on the leg. That's that's what I would explain it like. Yeah. It felt to me like it was someone carving in sunburn. Oh, yeah. what? Really? Yeah, that's what it felt like to me. I don't know. For and me, it, it wasn't like because it was cat scratch. Burn. It would burn. Cat scratch and sunburn. Oh, that's yeah. what it usually is. Yeah, yeah, I guess. That's what a lot of people say. Cat scratch. But then again, my tattoos aren't really big and like detailed or anything like that. So I, I think I got it, I got it easy, if anything. Because yeah. it's the the lining, isn't it? The Doing the outlines that are the coloring in the would be the sunburn. Everyone knows maybe. a different experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. There yeah. you go. Okay. Yeah. So for me, I don't know, but I, th I think a lot, a big part of it was I, I was expecting um, quite a bit of pain. I don't mm. know. Hi, I think yeah. it's best to expect it than not to. Hi. Do you get guys that, or guys and girls that like are squeamish and like move around a bit? Sure, I mean like depends where you're doing it, I guess. But you're doing like uh, if you're doing line work, yeah. shading depends on the design. Yeah, if you've got like a fuller, fully coloured, you know, realistic black and grey, whether it's black and grey or colour. Yeah, you know, there's more shading. You know, there's you got different types of needles. You got yeah. lining. Okay. You know, lining needles, you've got shading needles. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the time it's it's gonna be difficult for anyone. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, so you know, if you can imagine if you've got a lining needle, you know, it, it can consist of from three needles comprised into one up to you know, eighteen needles. Wow, wow. Monica. Eighteen it's a lining needle oh, yeah, in, a, okay. in, a, in a circular configuration. Okay. Yeah, it would make sense, okay. And then you've got uh, shading needles all the way, you know, from from five configuration. Yeah. Stacked in a in a pyramid formation, okay, okay? okay? So like you've got it like this. Yeah. Okay, now that's what shading's for. Oh. Um, sure. So again, you know, it's it's technical. Um, so it's how you attack the body, you know. So like sure, if yeah. you're, if it's if it's uh, if it's a lot of shading, there's a lot of black, there's a lot of color. It's gonna hurt her a lot more. Yeah, yeah. It depends how you attack the skin. That makes sense. Oh. Guys, I'm, I'm trying to get Monica in the shot because that lady over there with the blonde hair. Yeah. Right over there. She was the first person I wanted on my podcast when I came to Budapest. Before I even left Budap uh, Australia, I messaged her saying, you're my first guest when you come to Budapest. So you obviously knew each other before you... She's my oldest friend here. Her and Arwen, they were... You know Arwen, don't you, Johnny? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So these guys, uh, Arwen ran the hostel I stayed at the first time I came to Budapest. Yeah. And we kind of, we got really tight. And Monica was like... <laughs> She, she was this Polish chick who came here for a weekend and stayed six years. <laughs> Literally okay. did not leave the city. Yeah. After that weekend, she stayed and did not leave the place. And still hasn't left the place. <laughs> and she was working like six jobs and shit. And she'd always pop up at the hostel to help out. Yeah. Polish. Yeah, there we and go. she has this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful doggy. Yeah, that is Becca. Beautiful. Survivor. Yeah, so she's and she hasn't come on yet. I've had hundreds and thousands of guests, and yet the original has not been on yet. The original intent, the intended original first guest. No, look, look. No, <laughs> yes, he's looking down there. <laughs> yes, like who? What? 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 <laughs> right in front of you. Ah, oh, try me about it, man. Tell me about it. Ah, oh, last night was awesome, man. We what happened last night? Oh, we went, we, we ended up like, we got in the car, it was a 10 minute drive from our house. 
10 just minutes. into the, well into the walk, hills, man. right? <laughs> oh, man. We parked and we walked down the road and it was a hill. And then we walked up this dirt track. And it took us through all these, like, you know, the woods and yeah. it was awesome. And you pop out into this this little like a like a shelf, like I told you earlier. Yeah. And there were a couple of tents there, and there was another group doing like a shamanistic drumming ceremony and campfire. And the moon was half 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 the moon. A full moon would have been amazing. Yeah. See everything. But the half moon even was really nice. Yeah, it sounds good. And we had uh, the get uh, up there the guy Jeff had his you know had the amplifier and the guitar and yeah, the yeah. microphone and people were singing and sitting around the campfire. It was really good. But yeah, yeah Yaz and I good. are definitely definitely first, maybe second gear tonight. Yeah. And half the, everyone's missing. Most a lot of the people are missing because they had such a hard night last night. Yeah. It was a heavy night. But things are going to be opening up soon. I don't know. No, there are really whispers. Today, uh, there are whispers. Today, in five million. So yeah, that's right. But I don't know what's what's going to change. Really, oh, except well. for not wearing a mask. Uh, oh, here, here at Hoff, I'll tell you what's going to change. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up soon, karaoke night, yeah. open mic, magic shows, workshops, <laughs> movie sessions, DJs, the lot. That's pretty cool. Um, but, but will you get in? Will you, people will be able to get inside, or would you need a vaccination? You'll people? need the vaccination. That's why the, they, they, they could now. They could now. But well, like, would you? Do you have to have two? That's another question. Because I think there's a bit of confusion with this. Do you, you need have to have two jabs. two jabs, or if you have one jab, is that enough? I think it's one jab enough. That's what I've heard, and now that so doesn't make sense. You've had your first jab, right? I had my first jab. So you yeah. should be able to get one. And by the way, that thing fucked me up, but pretty badly. What was it again? Uh, AstraZeneca. Ah, that's the one that fucked Same here, mate. Did you also have yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did you feel? Because I... Fucking horrible. Dude, that thing, I, I had it in the, on the Friday afternoon. That Friday night, I passed out when I got home. And yeah. I slept for like 11 hours. And then I woke up with a mad headache. Yeah. And Same then here, mate. the headache subsided like within an hour of being awake. But then I had like, my arm was fucked up. Couldn't lift my arm up. Like it was swollen and my armpits were swollen. And then I just felt like this, it was, I, the way I'd explain it is almost like a fever, but without feeling, it was just like in my yeah, spine a, almost. Like, yeah, same It was here. like a same. fucking back weird pain. fever, right? Back yeah, pain. like a back pain, yeah. but it was like a fever back pain. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Right. So we, sounds like we had the same thing because I was, I don't know about you, but I was on fucking Google, you know, like trying to find out, like you can almost find a doctor on Google, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what, 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 am I dying? You know what I mean? And every time you go on Google about medical stuff, it says you've got cancer. That's literally, uh, <laughs> it's a thing, right? So I was like, I know, I'm pretty sure it's not cancer, but fucking Never AstraZeneca, look what's going on? You know what I mean? That thing knocked me, dude. But yeah, it didn't last that's very not the long. One. I don't that's know about you. No, nah, it didn't last long. By like the afternoon, I was all right. I still came here that afternoon. Oh, there you go. So like afternoon and then when the sun went down, then I, f- I felt all right. I felt fine again. The next morning I woke up and I was good. Except for the arm. The arm was still swollen. Yeah. But the my arm felt. For like three days. My didn't, didn't, uh, was it, was it Lisa telling us that, or someone, that they got like, like, inf- like their, yeah, their dude, armpits it happened to me as well. bloated out or yeah. something? Le- uh, really? I'm pretty sure it was her, yeah, but, but it happened to me too. It wasn't too, like super swollen or anything, but you could, like you couldn't visibly see swelling, but you could feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't yeah. couldn't see it, but you could feel you definitely feel it. And if like I remember waking up in the, the next morning and one of the first things I did is like turn over or something and I was like, ah fucking hell. Yeah. Like my like my arm was like bru- it felt bruised. Like someone ran into me in a rugby game pretty hard, you know what I mean? But that's the thing, Dylan, like if you've got the first shot you might you should be able to get the, the certificate. Oh yeah, going back to that, well, I've heard this but And by the way it doesn't they, they, make sense they can to me, does it? Because now, not, but if you have one shot Technically, you're not vaccinated. So no, I don't know. No. Well, yeah, I don't know. It, it's again, it's whatever the system makes it out to be is what we have to play the rules by. But and another thing is if, getting if they, that certificate, like especially for expats here. I don't know about you guys. Or, well, I told you. Not, no. There's an app. I know there's an app, but apparently you have to go to like some building to register. To, like, Here's what I did. I had to go to the local office. Yeah, the local office. And right. keep show my ID again and and show the stamps that I got like both of them but yeah. if it works for one it should work for one and then what they and get then they said again? okay well do you want it sent 
to your address and you pick it up or do you want to put it in the post office uh, in the post box I was like yeah post box is alright so apparently it should be showing up soon and if I can well, download the app I don't that's know why cool. I can't do it on my phone apparently I just can't but like if you download the app you should be able to get it all on there too yeah dude it's, <coughs> it's um, I don't know I think going you know going through like all the stuff here with the residence cards and address cards and Wow, the systems here seem slow and like outdated and I don't know if it's just Outdated, me. definitely. I'm not complaining. I'm just, ha I'm happy to be here, but <laughs> don't throw me off. But have you found that, because uh, you've got a UK like passport, you don't have to worry about any of that shit. Dude, I've oh, got wait. a EU no, 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 passport no. as well. Wait. Great tip, mate. Yeah, but... Did, but that's did, not into effect now, is it? Not yet. It's into effect, but don't you guys get a lot of um, yeah. support and assistance for that? You're in the fucking clear, <laughs> man, aren't you? The phase that Brexit's in now, it means it, nothing's really changed.